So another day, another majority audio product. We have been sent out something that's a bit more user friendly for everyone. It's not more dedicated to one person than the other. It's not for professional use. It is your generic everyday. If you want it in the office, if you want it in the kitchen, if you want it in the bedroom, if you want it as a surround sound, if you want it as a gaming audio for your Xbox, your PC, your PlayStation, whatever, your Switch. God knows what you're using nowadays. This, this is for everyone. It's not like they're bookshelf speakers that were more dedicated to editing setups, music setups, where it could pick up all the rich tones and the low tones and the mid tones and all the frequencies in between. This one is your very basic, minimalistic. This is for anyone. And the reason I say it's for everyone is because it's a USB plug-in play. When it comes down to your USB systems, they tend to not have the best audio. We are gonna test it in a second. I'm actually gonna show you the audio in this video as well. Even though I say I never show audio from speakers because the camera, again, will pick it up differently to how I hear it or the microphone will pick it up differently. But just so you can hear, you know, there's no distortion, there's no crackling and things like that. It's not so much for the bass and everything. It's just so you know, okay, it does sound decent over a microphone. Just trust me that in real life, it also sounds good. Starting off, it is, like I said, very minimalistic. The bass, like the, the subwoofer literally has one input and that is to have the input from the speakers to the subwoofer. That's, that's it. Uh, the speakers are the main power source. They are the ones that have this block on, that have your on off button, your mode button, which I'm hoping switches from your headphones to the speakers, because that'd be a pretty cool system. They've got the bass and the volume. That's it. That's what they've got. There's nothing fancy to it. And obviously their little headphone jack as well. And I mean, these things are pushing out 80 watts. But on the manual, it does say PC speakers. But again, if anything has a USB and an aux input, they work. That's all they need is power and an input, and that's it. Oh, there's Bluetooth mode, hang up. Hang on a second, there is Bluetooth mode. Maybe that's what the 2.1 means. On the box, it doesn't say Bluetooth, does it? It does, oh, I'm an idiot. I need to read the box a bit more, hang on. Let's put the manual down, read the box. So, here we go, dual speakers, upgrade your desk experience now with the dual speakers delivering clear and powerful sound. Powerful subwoofer, elevating your audio with 2.1 subwoofer, so it's a 2.1 inch subwoofer, that's what that means. Immerse yourself in rich, deep sounds. Desktop controller, seamlessly manage your audio settings with the convenient desktop controller, that's that little block that has everything on it. And then Bluetooth playback, experience seamless audio streaming with Bluetooth playback. So I didn't know it had Bluetooth, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so the 2.1 means for the subwoofer. There's one thing I've noticed on the speakers, there isn't a left and a right. I don't know if I've missed it or I just couldn't find it on there. That was concerning to me because surely there should be a left and right option, but maybe because there's only one audio, that's mind boggling me. Because surely then it would it would be stereo, right? It wouldn't be mono. Help me in the comments below. When this got delivered, I didn't think it was what it was. Uh, obviously, they deliver through Amazon, next day delivery. So if you are looking in the market for any good speakers, or if you want this speaker set, there will be a link in the description to my Amazon store, which you can order through. Um, and obviously, I do earn a bit of commission as well from that. So that helps me in the channel, which I really appreciate, and also does pay majority audio, so they get their part, which is great as well. So. I appreciate that, links in the description. And also thank you Majority Audio for sponsoring this video. But still, I digress again. When it turned up, I did not expect it to be as light as it is. It is made out of wood, just a very thin wood. So maybe that might make the base a bit more hollow, if that makes sense, we'll have to see. But the, the majority of the speak, <laughs> majority, and the main majority of the speakers is plastic, mind the pun, but yet it's still a good, well-built plastic. It's not flimsy, it's not bendy, you know, you can't just, crush it in your hands and feel like the Hulk, this is high durable plastic because majority audio know what they're doing on a budget. Anyway, so, I mean, all there really is to do now is look at the price and listen to a bit of music. Let's start with the price, shall we? These are coming in at $49.95. And that is in British pounds. So in the US, that's probably like near your 54 dollars, I guess, I don't know. That is next day delivery on Amazon Prime. And for me, I think, 50 is a decent price for what you get with subwoofer and speakers for pretty much any setup that you're looking for. 50 pounds is a reasonable price. Now when it comes to bookshelf speakers, they're more like the 80s and the 90s because they are dedicated to a certain niche, if you will. So for any everyday speaker, 50 quid, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, I think that's a pretty solid price. So without further ado, let's put on some music 
test out the speakers and the sub. I'll put the microphone closer to that so you can hear it and let you judge for yourself. And then I'll come at the end and give my little conclusion of what I think of it. And then we'll end the video. So let's do that music time. Okay, so we've got Lofi music going on. Hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted, but we're gonna turn on the speakers. They are plugged in directly to the back of the mix amp. So hopefully it will work through that. Okay, so here we go. Oh wow, they're loud. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is start off with the speakers on their own, and then we're gonna add in the bass and see how that sounds. Now, I've chosen a part of this where it doesn't have that crackly water noise that they normally do in Luffy music, just so you understand the crispness of the speakers for 50 quid. So, starting off, just the speakers, turn the volume maximum on the speakers alone, and maximum on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, and now, hopefully that sounded good, I don't know. We're gonna add the bass in as well and see what that sounds like. So, maximum bass. Okay, I'm impressed. For that sub, I'm surprised it has such a deep bass. And I'm hoping, this is the thing I hate about trying to show off audio products on the microphone. I don't know if it's gonna sound as good as it did in person, and I'm not even like, being biased here, that actually sounded crisp, clear, bassy. And the thing is with speakers, I tend to always use headphones because I'm either editing or playing games. So headphones is just an easier option. So I normally make the video for the speakers and then put them back in the box and you know either put them to good use somewhere else or sell them on, whatever I need to do with them. Where I think with these, because they're so subtle, they're out the way, you know, they're not big bulky things taking up a lot of space, apart from the subwoofer, but again, I can put a nice little plant on top of that that makes it hidden away. I'm actually thinking about just keeping these out. The simple controls right here, I've got it now at my arm's reach compared to I have my iPad here, I can't get to the buttons. So that's a massive help. Also, normally having the headphones having to plug into the front bit here, as you can see, the cable goes over my keyboard. Well, now I can plug it into this. And then the audio comes through the headset, which also, another added bonus, if you plug your headset into this, you can actually control your bass and your volume from this little controller in the headset. So I just then turned the bass off and had the treble on. I could turn the volume down while having the bass higher. So that being my conclusion, I think this is a steal for the price. Now I'm not just saying that, you know, so you go out and buy it. I'm saying this as a legit, you know, reviewer. Now there is some limitations to it, don't get me wrong. There's not a lot of options. You know, there is literally volume and bass. The second thing is they don't put out a lot of volume when it comes to having it at full blast. I find that actually putting my headset directly into my audio mixer, I have a lot more volume control because the audio mixer can amplify that in different ways where these can't. For speakers at that price, for a budget and for being as versatile as they are, you're not gonna get the highest level of volume coming from these that are gonna blow the roof down. Which also is another bonus if you have kids, because kids love to turn shit all the way up, where these things all the way up don't really sound too bad. And they're not that loud where it's like, oh, I wish I never got them. So just keep that in mind. Again, not a biased review or anything. This is just my honest opinion. And it will always be my honest opinion when it comes to products. And like I say, if I think your product's shit, I'll tell you, your product's shit. For me, I find that 50 quid, that's a reasonable price for something you're buying here. It's budget, it's friendly, it's usable, it's versatile, it works. That's it. But yeah, Majority Audio, thank you for sending these over and allowing me to review your products and also sponsoring this video. Hopefully next time a bit of money can be involved. <laughs> and then to everyone here watching, if you've bought from the commission link, I appreciate it. Because as always, it is a massive help to me and the channel. Other than that, that's the video, that's the majority audio DX30s, and yeah. Remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next one.